everybody doing? We went out on a collecting trip yesterday. Got some pretty cool stuff. It was a lot of fun. Did manage finally to find some uh, pygmy sunfish. I went after 50. I got 15. <laughs> so it was um, not as good as I had hoped. Thank you, Naresh. There she is. Good morning, Joey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you about the fish? How are you this morning? I am fine. And, and how's everyone in the show? We hope you're doing well. It's an exciting day today. Should we? A glass box. I think the fuzzy strobing effect is the camera. I noticed it on mine as well. Uh, yeah. And I noticed it with this camera. It's, um, I'm going to have to keep buying cameras, I guess, till I find something that that works. It's, a, it's better in some respects and worse than others. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I just don't seem to be able to find a camera that suits me. Yeah. So let's say some hellos and then we'll talk about your exciting yeah. name. Okay, you bet. so let's do that. Um, I see Karina Karen Naresh here right out of the gate. Brad's Hobbies, Glass Box Fox, Dennis Lord. Um, lots of father fish in there. Florida Fish Rescue. Welcome, everyone. J Dog, Tommy Denda, Aquatic Thumb, and then Roman Sharak is here. Thank you all for coming in. Uh, and PJ Cole, Master Python, World's Smallest Fish Room, Johan. Welcome, everyone. Uh, then I see Howard Van Tessel is here, Stephanie Frederick, Kyle's Aquarometrics. Good morning, Greg the Geppy Guy. And then Tish is here, Mermaid's Chorus, My Fish Tanks Aquatics. Welcome, Frugal Aquatics, DJ. Hello, Tank Top Tropics. <laughs> Good morning. Can you give them a wrench, Father Fish? While I'm doing this at nine at nine a.m., um, and then Joshua Miller, Paul C., Tommy Denda. I may have already said Tommy, but hello again. Um, and then I see Canisio Valley Cichlids, one fishy dude, Herbin C., Chevy Fish is in the house, and Joseph Ariando, I think, and yeah. Cody the Libertarian. Good morning and hello to everyone. And we'll yes. try to keep up as we go along. And it's an exciting day today because Father Fish hit mm -hmm. 8,000 subs and hit the like button. Congrats, Father Fish. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Somebody asked me if I ever imagined that. I, I did not imagine that. I did not imagine anything because when I started this, I really had no clue. Um, a friend of mine started me on YouTube 10 years ago or more. Um, and I didn't begin to understand what it was all about. And I think back there, maybe it 
it wasn't about much. So there wasn't much to understand. And I did not pursue it. Um, and, and I didn't pick it up again until a year and a half ago when I started posting. Thank you, Jason Sear. <laughs> and uh, it's just been a real experience for the last year and a half. It's, it's been quite a ride. I finally reached the point with it. You know, you, you have your ups and downs on YouTube. And I guess most people do. You know, once you get into trying to build a channel, then it becomes uh, um, an exercise in futility, I think. Because <laughs> you never know. You never know what the right thing to do is. Um, and I finally have reached the point, I, I think in large measure due to uh, Joey's counsel, I've, I've reached the point where I'm just enjoying the ride uh, and, and having fun doing what I'm doing and feeling good about it and, and not, trying to, not trying to push things along. Because the more you push, the more resistance you create. I think it kind of works that way. I think I have to go with the flow with it and do do what what is best for you to do and what you can do best. So that's what I'm about from here on is just to try to do uh, do stuff that that is worth doing that I want to do that I believe yeah. is worth. Doing. Jason says being yourself is the key to success, and I, that's true absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I do that be wild and crazy and I'm not I'm not so much into wild and crazy anymore. <laughs> there was a time. Sure. Uh, live chat. Um, okay. So yeah. let's say let's say a few more hellos and then for anybody that has just <laughs> celebrating Father Fish's eight thousand subscribers. So you hit that mark. Um welcome third coast third coast aquatics. Good morning, um, and I think what thus is here with us this morning. And yes, Jason Sear came in. Monster Fish Gal, Lori's here. Science Gal, good morning, Carrie. Um, Tam Shepard, good morning. And then who else do we see? Fish and Wings, good morning. Welcome. Don Marie Lee is new, and welcome. Thank you for coming in. And then, uh, hopefully, we got everyone. And yes, um, he just reached 8,000 subscribers. Wow. Actually, late yesterday afternoon, I think I was the first one to congratulate you, I believe. <laughs> and Don um, Marie. Hi, Don Marie. And anyway, mm -hmm. so it's awesome. And yeah, Don Marie is here with us. And, uh, and um, you had somebody ask up above Father Fish. If you went collecting, so why don't you tell us about your collecting trip? Yeah, well, yeah, Mike and I, Mike at uh, uh, Florida Rescue, uh, and his cousin was with us. We went collecting yesterday. He's here. And had a really neat time. It's a long drive, uh, about a two and a half hour drive mm -hmm. to get to the spot. One little tiny spot. Mike asked me at one point, how do you find a spot like that out in the middle of nowhere? Which is a really good question. I found it with Frank about six months ago or more. But we were just driving around southwest Florida. Um, we were about um, half an hour. Well, we went to Okeechobee. And we're on our way back from Okeechobee, going, coming back through Arcadia. Uh, and we got to, I don't even know what the route number is, 27, I think, kind of midway through the state, and saw a ditch on the side of the road, and I said, stop! It was exactly the kind of ditch that I looked for, and sure enough, we found, it took a little while, but we found uh, uh, Everglade Eye there. Uh, the, um, uh, I think, they are, um, God, the names always escape me with these things. The uh, Everglade Eye, 
I think they're Everglade. I, I'm, I'm waiting for, I, I caught, we caught 15 yesterday. Mike got four and I got 10, roughly. Uh, so I've got a few. I'll be able to fill maybe one or two orders. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was fun. I was there, Mike, I was, he, he, I think he said he wasn't going to be able to lurk today because he's off on a, on a job. Um, he said no, no, but he may have Yeah, been. I need to get, I need to get, uh, I didn't get a video of him or of the two of us together. His yeah. cousin did uh, help me uh, with some videoing. So I've got some uh, B-roll that I'm trying to put together. It's kind of boring, but but it is interesting seeing what we do. And I realized looking at it, I need to do a lot more detail with uh, um, with my videos and really get into what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and so forth. So anyway, yeah, it's a good trip. We got a few. Uh, yeah. Mainly when on the way back, about a, like I said, a two hour drive. On the way back, I thought to myself, you know, finally, I'm, I'm here in Florida. I'm free to do what I want to do, to go where I want to do. And I need to go and do. I just need to take advantage of that and get out and be doing things so so he was very good in that respect and thank you all so much for the kudos on 8,000 I'm not sure what I had to do with it frankly <laughs> Fixed wings that being myself is why I haven't been successful well that may be too I don't know. <laughs> it's strange stuff isn't it make yeah. it crazy to try to figure it out I was yeah. listening to Joey and and Farmer uh, oh, the other day. Joey interviewed Farmer, and uh, they were going on about the algorithm and so forth. And they haven't got a clue either. They just, you know, they do what they do. They they have uh, they've hit very very big numbers and, and have managed to develop a substantial income. Um, but they can't allow it to be all consuming either. And I, I think for too many people it is. And I think for a while it was for me too. But when I, when I get into that, I do stupid things. I do, I do things that don't work. You know, when I just kind of relax and go with the flow and, and do what, uh, do what I want to do, then it works better. Anyway, crazy. From, from the heart. Hello, Rohan. Good morning. Right. Sorry, Mr. Oh, hello, Mr. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Landon Hall. Good morning. Then, yeah, okay. we had a question so, earlier. So this was interesting. Okay. I was like, I the other day I realized somebody was saying that the HSIF more is fish from backwards. I am. <laughs> That's interesting. World's smallest fish room has a question at 9-11. Okay. We'll start with some questions. I have a question regarding chlorine. Does it gas out of the water faster if I use an air stone opposed to just letting the water sit? Well, obviously, if you use an air stone, you're turning the water over quicker than it would otherwise. So in that sense, yeah, it's gassing off quicker. Here's the thing to understand about that. If your water supply, uh, if the water supply company, the company that provides your water, if they're adding ammonia to, uh, to chlorinated water in order mm -hmm. to create a chloramine molecule, what they are doing is they're preventing the chlorine from gassing off. I don't frankly know why they would do that because it's not going to gas off in the pipe or in a or in a closed system like a pipe system and it's typically put in the water in uh, in in pipes so the only benefit to adding ammonia 
to the water to create the chloramine molecule would be to prevent the chlorine from gassing off, off after you draw it through your faucet and set it on your counter, which is precisely when you want the chlorine to gas off. So uh, if your water is chlorinated and if it has ammonia added to it to make chloramine, I would call the water company up and bitch like hell about why they are insisting that you ingest the poison they're putting in the water because it's it's irrational they do it out of sheer stupidity out of some va vacuous notion that somehow it's good to keep the ammonia in the i mean the chlorine in the water well it's not good to keep the chlorine in the water at the point of service at the point at which it's actually being used that's the point at which chlorine naturally dissipates naturally gasses off allowing you to have clean pure water it's perfect just the way it is why they insist on fooling around and playing chemist and increasing the load of chemicals going into people's bodies. Do you know that many of those same water supply companies put out notices to not give that water to pets because chloramines are dangerous to pets. Well, if they're dangerous to your cat and dog, Aren't they not also dangerous to you? So, anyway. Tell them Father Fish said so. That's a call. Um, good morning, Gene, and welcome back to the fish guy. He has a question, and Kyle um, also has a question. Max, the fish guy, is wondering if you know Jack of the House of the Tropicals. Oh, I do. I don't know if Jack's still alive. Um, Jack moved down here. He was down here in Florida for a couple of years playing golf every day. He loved it. I met Jack, she was about 1960, what? First time I met him, 65 or so. He had a little corner store in Glenburg, Maryland sitting on a flat iron corner, um, a, a, a two-story. He raised birds up on the second floor. He had big screened-in cages with finches and raised finches up there. Uh, I used to go in, all, well, I guess weekly, and just hang out and chat. He was one of the people I really enjoyed. Uh, talking with and getting to know. He later moved, um, opened a new shop down the street from where it was, about two miles down the street. And has since moved from there over to uh, Ritchie Highway, I guess, where he uh, has apparently an astounding store. But his sons took it over some years ago. Anyway, he was down here in Florida playing golf. His wife was missing the grandchildren, so they went back up to Maryland, and he uh, uh, got back involved with his sons. There, They had two stores for a while. Uh, I had one out that I never visited. It was in uh, uh, Baltimore County, got Lock Raven Boulevard, I believe, which is where I used to live but long after I lived there. They are massive. Um, just absolutely massive. They, they've got hundreds of fish tanks. Um, don't know a thing about what they're doing, really, other than a huge collection of salt and freshwater fish, and I'm sure a big dry goods supply section as well apparently a really big shop 
it looked like three to four thousand square feet pretty good size um i'm sure they do a good job it's interesting looking at shops like that some of the other new shops that are opening not at all the kind of shop i had but then i wasn't going for that i really was not going for a warehouse kind of operation where you simply house large numbers of fish in order to make them available and get them out my notion was i wanted to do established tanks established aquariums so every single tank in my store was a dirted substrate uh three to four inches of substrate with plants growing in them and fish in them i never had large numbers of any given species because it didn't work out to do that um and you couldn't always find everything that was there you couldn't walk down a row and see everything because it was hiding behind the plants and and whatnot so it was a completely different kind of experience not your not your typical pet shop i don't know what it was i i called it an old time fish store and to the best of my memory the shops that i remember when i was a kid and a young man that's really the way they were there was no attempt to have 500 aquariums get 20 or 30 maybe 40 aquariums and you're shopping you dressed them up and you made them look nice and that's the that's what i was going for unfortunately it didn't work it was just it was not an effective way to market fish um right. they were there were some people i think if i had been in a really big city i would have done much better but i was in kind of a small town and a retirement town at that so a uh, full of snowbirds people went back and forth between the north and the south so they didn't have fish tanks for the most part anyway uh um, mr v's german ram spawn wonderful nice we had a question from kyle as well i wanted to know if you keep picking these sunfish if they would do well in an outdoor mini pond five gallon mini pond what do you think about that? Yeah, I do. I think they would. I mean, that's what they've come out of. Yeah. Um, I'll get the video out. I'll just, it just, it's, there's not much to it. Uh, it just shows me mucking about in a, in a mud slew. Water about three to four inches deep, uh, about four to five feet wide, and a hundred feet long. Uh, right. Apparently, a spring. Uh, because it's flowing water, but very slow flowing. And of course, that makes it permanent standing water. In this drought we're having, the fact that there's still water in a ditch means right. it didn't come from, from rain. It's coming out of the ground. Yeah. Uh, and that's what allows these fish to survive. They have to have permanent standing water. And I'm sure they've been there for many, many, many years. If that ever dries out, they'll disappear completely. Good morning, Paul C. and Cody the Libertarian, if I didn't say hi, and Jean Campbell. And I'm sure there's other people. Oh, Gene Campbell to talk about Henry Hall and how he kept his fish. Wondering about his filtration, feeding habits. Henry Hall had no substrate. He had bare bottom tanks. He kept one fish in a tank, one very large fish, uh, a two to three foot fish, large fish, in a hundred gallon plus tank. No substrate. He fed essentially once a month. Or he would go and buy goldfish, bring them back, and feed them all out in one swell poop. Um, his filtration system were all DIY. He made acrylic boxes, plastic boxes, that sat on top of his tank. He had lift tubes with an air pump that lifted water up into those boxes. And, and he had 
filter material in the box that were slotted so the water would drip through. The water came up, ran over those that filter material, and dropped back down into the tank. No lights on the tanks, light in the room. So he controlled algae with no light. Basically kept his fish while they were not in the dark. Um, it was in a basement, so they were in the dark when the lights were off. When the lights were on, you could see everything. Uh, but there was, he, it, I don't recall that he ever had any decorations in any of his tanks. It was a pretty austere operation. But he had come to that uh, by virtue of his desire to keep big fish. And that's what he found was the simplest way to keep big fish. Now, each of these tanks were standalone, so he would have to do water changes when the pH dropped and the pH would drop. He would notice it in the behavior of the fish and in the look of the water. He could look at the water and look at the fish and know what the pH was. And he would do a water change at that point. Um, the, the city water had free ammonia I mean, free chlorine, uh, and so it dissipated right away. He would put water in slowly enough that that he would dissipate as it was being put in. Uh, but he would never do more than about a 25% water change at a time. So he was not risking uh, his, his fish. And that was it. It was a very simple, basic system, simple operation. Uh, he would have to do water changes once every three to four months. Um, so it, it got to be a routine. And when he hit the, when he hit 80, he began to looking for someone to take it over. He wanted to donate the collection. And that's how I got involved. A friend of mine, Rick Hahn at the Kentucky Zoo, heard about it and put me on to him. And I went to visit him, and that all then became part of the original collection of the Baltimore Aquarium. Uh, I was on the board of the Baltimore Aquarium, and we set up we set up that display. The, the, the it was nineteen seventy eight, I think, seventy nine at the Baltimore Fair. We had a big tent and a, a major display of Henry Hall's fish on Pier 5 where the aquarium was to be built. They broke ground for it uh, that winter, a few months after that display was set up. The display went in, then into the Science Museum on the other side of the harbor. Um, and they, they developed that into something very substantial uh, that exists, I believe, even today, many, many years later. So, cool. Good morning, Texas Fish. Good morning. Welcome. I think everybody's just maybe enjoying listening to a lot of your stories today, Father Fish. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, mean, I was yeah. thinking about that yesterday. One of the things that people seem to enjoy most about the early streams was the stories, and I've kind of gotten away from that. I really need to get back into into yeah. the the, well, it's, the your day. it's kind of celebration, you know. Yeah, you know, well, so your day, tell your stories. <laughs> you know, a lot of things happened at the shop, and and that's what's left at the shop now is memories. So I I need to uh, document those memories. I guess I, that's what I do here. The giant discus angel tank at the Baltimore Aquarium. I don't know. I haven't been back there in so many years. I don't know what's there anymore. I need to get back up to Maryland and 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 go visit Father yeah, Fish. Yeah. What Good morning, does? Right? What Good, morning. Does? Good morning. Internal box filter. Yeah, they're hard to find anymore. I don't have any here. I did keep a few in the shop for sale, uh, but I don't think anybody makes them anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I should have to find because it sounds specific what you're actually for. Yeah. Um, Tommy Danda wants to know what species of small fish will actually still thrive in water that will get hot from heat waves, 86 to 90 Fahrenheit. Um, actually, most any will. The ones that will not are are the fish that are native to uh, uh, colder climes in, in uh, colder northern climes. Like to, uh, uh, any fish native to your environment, Tommy. Um, although if it's if you know if they're living in that environment and that's their natural environment, then they will live in that environment. Um, Eighty-six to ninety is not hot. The only fish I've found won't do that are are the 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 cold water darters, like the tennis. Excuse me, the Tennessee darters, the sticklebacks. I haven't found the stickleback yet that'll live in, in warm water. Um, but generally yeah. speaking, any of the native fish that are in uh, still water in ponds or in little creeks, in slow flowing water, in ditches, those are going to survive uh, that, those temperatures because they already do. They're already living in those temperatures. Uh, it's not until the water gets up over 90 degrees that it becomes a problem. And it really does not get even that warm in the tropics because the ground is cooler. You get down a couple of feet into the ground and the temperature drops substantially, even in the tropics. It'll be down in the 70s. Uh, and so that helps to keep the water colder, even on a bright, hot, sunny day. Mm. Good morning, Russ. Um, oh, thank you, What does? Thank you. We're like, here. Up, we're celebrating. Like, um, go ahead. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, my puppies. I was like, we're here. We're celebrating Father Fish's 8,000 subs today. So everybody smash the like button let's see it's how a big we're day doing. that's why you know, we don't have to answer <laughs> as many questions as you want to tell story, right? oh boy hit the bell again hit the bell again we're at four we're at 50 and 71. <laughs> come on people let's she go right on top of the mic doesn't she <laughs> Ding a lot, ding dong. Come on. I can't really see um where they are because I have to go. I can't update you without going out, coming back, doing all things. So I'm like, but they're keeping track of it. They're seeing it. Oh, I am getting, oh, what the, that was the whole conversation yesterday. I'm de definitely pimping out the mallet. Don't you worry. <laughs> Might take a week, but it, it will yeah, That is for the works, right? That is. <laughs> um, I have to buy a new one to do it because this one's all chewed up because we actually used it. So I got to get a new one so we have nice edges. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> <laughs> so anyway all right so you can keep telling stories or we can find some questions whatever <laughs> i might need to hide the rubber mallet from my wife well maybe j dog if she watches this all right. All right. i think a rubber mallet to the head would be quite effective <laughs> oh my you're awake now so okay as long as you hit the you know the like button <laughs> Last box slots just found their 17 to 19 year old common pleco dead when the lights came on. Had a half of my life. Wow. My that's, mind. A long, that's a long go. 
So you, so you gave it a good life. Sad. Yeah, here, here, here's, life. Something, here's something to consider. Um, I, I put out a challenge a while back for people to try to maintain a tank, a single tank, throughout their life. Uh, if you're if you're a young person, set up a small tank like a 10 gallon or a 20 gallon or even something smaller. Set it up as a deep substrate, and then when you move, keep it. Just drop the water level down. Don't disturb the substrate. Move it. See how long you can keep it. You should be able to keep that aquarium going for your entire life. Wouldn't it be a thrill? To hit my age, 80 years old, and have a tank that you had when you were in your mid-20s or early 30s or or even as a teenager. To be able to say, yeah, think about all the fish that have lived in that tank, all the plants that have grown in it. You can do that. You really can do that. You can have a single tank that will be with you for your entire life. I'm sad to say I don't. Uh, the oldest tank I have here is about 20 years old. And that's that's this one that's 30 gallon, 30 gallon long, which is four foot long. And I got it about 15 years ago uh, from a young man who had to give it up. He had had it for about five years. Uh, doesn't have a lot. I'm I'm, re, I'm replanting it right now, so it looks kind of sparse at this point, and not a lot of fish in it. The only thing I have in it right now are some uh, some pupfish, um, and I don't have anything else because they're so aggressive. But I think I'm going to move them out to one of the tubs, and do some. I'll, I'll do natives, I think, or some other uh, micro fish mm -hmm. in hey, there. Um, Jay Dog has a question for you. It says, Father Fish, what do you feed your fish now? Much and how often? Also, where can I find frozen Daphne? I can't find any since you closed the shop. Oh, golly. Oh. Um, I've got some here, I think. I think I, I think I've got a few packages of frozen Daphne. Um, they're available. You can you can buy frozen from Brine Shrimp Direct. Um, you may have to put in a slightly larger order, but they hold up pretty well. I mean, if you if you put together a fifty dollar order, that'll give you a year's supply or better. Uh, and they do have you can get a variety that way as well. Um, so you might consider that possibility of just buying them online. They ship out in uh, thermal boxes. The way you get steaks, same idea. Um, um, the other thing to do is to set up Daphne Culture. I'm going to be doing that shortly. It's a matter of putting a number of different containers outside. Um, and, and putting some kind of screen over them. You need to find Daphne to get them started, but you usually can can collect those in a in a ditch if you go looking for them. Um, so we've had a few other people come in. Good morning, George Crabtree. Good morning, Against the Flow. r and Animals Collectibles, good morning. And I don't know if I see anybody else, but I'm just noticing. Um, oh, Marty 80. Good morning. So you oh, so the other part of that question is what are you feeding your fish and how often your your current tanks? And then I have well, I'm feeding question. some frozen. Um I I've been looking for I had a big bag of prime and I not been able to find it in the move. I don't know where it is. I have a bucket of pellets. Okay. So I've been eating some of these pellets. Not a preferred food particularly. 
and I'm not sure I know what it is. I a big bag full of pellets that I got somehow. Uh, so I'm fitting some of those. Okay. Um, I don't like to feed pellets. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. This tank is still cloudy. I haven't got the sand in it yet. I got to get some sand. These angels are looking pretty good, though. I'm hoping I might have a pair of the big ones. They keep yeah. acting like maybe, but they're, the reality is they're they're kind of gone by their breeding uh, life, and yeah. they're they're not likely to spawn again. Be nice if they did, but I don't think they will. And I, I may not even have a female. They the more. You know, I look at them and I think maybe they're all males. And I yeah. think probably they really are. But yeah. the albinos, I'm sure I've got some pairs. It'll take another yeah. few months for them to come up. Yeah. But they look pretty good and I've got plants in here. The plants are doing well in here. Yeah. Real pleased about that. Well, that'll be fun yeah. to see all that. Um. And then Kyle was wondering if any of are you gonna have any of those pygmy sunfish for sale on um, get gills or are they all spoken for already? Well, it's gonna be a problem. I've gotta I gotta come up with another collecting spot that's closer. Okay. Spending spending half a day collecting them and then only getting a dozen or so is not a real productive way to go. Um the ones I have are spoken for, and I need to get more already. Now, I am, uh, I do have a local spot where I'll be able to get uh, bluefin killies and, and uh, golden top minnows, darters, uh, that's the Everglade darter, and um, formosa. So I'm going to have those available. I don't have a source for for the other little sunfish. There, there are a number of little sunfish in Florida that I've never found a way to collect. I do have a friend that I need to get together with who uh, he's up in the Tampa area, who I think will be able to help. And he's on here lurking usually. Uh, it's Mike Labello. Mike, are you there? Are you lurking? <laughs> Say hello if you are. Um. Okay, I've just scrolled down. I guess there's something going on. Yeah, that, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Good job, you guys. Yeah, but but in truth, that will only time somebody out. Father Fish is the only one that can can kick somebody off. So yes, glad that you're taking care of it. But he's like the final word on it. Um, uh, yeah, I need to, uh, yeah, I need to destroy this turkey. So, good morning, Andrew. Tom. It's now Thank hidden you. from the channel. Okay. Um, Thank you, guys. Yeah. But he's, you know, like I said, any anybody with a wrench can time somebody out, but it's just a temporary thing. Yeah. So anyway, um, okay. Let's just, let's just keep moving and not give it the you know. Good morning, yeah. Jeff. Hello, it's John. All reported. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, Father Fish. Yes. Since it's your eight thousand, you know, subscriber day, and it's a little bit of a celebration, I would like to sponsor a fifty dollar gift card to give away. Um, for everybody, you know, right. in here recording it. So, nice. Would you like to pick a number? Let's do. I don't know how many are in here. Should we do one through fifty or one through a hundred? It's up to you. Oh, I don't know. We can do one through fifty. Maybe I have okay. a chance. Don't put any numbers in yet, guys. Wait. Let Father Fish pick a number and write it down. He's going one to. He'll put in the word start. 
when if it's two time. people hit it, I will, I will cover the second one. Okay, so, and it's one guess and close to this one guess without right. going over. Okay, so and it'll be a gift certificate to uh, the Father uh, Fish yeah. merch, right? First merch, or however you want to use it, but it will be a fifty dollars gift card, right? For something from right. Father Fish. Um, so have you picked a number? You don't tell us. Have you picked a number and written it down? No, I have not. I have to pick a number. Can you, uh, do you have a way to write it down? Oh, I guess I do. Yeah, I'll okay. do that. So if you can do that, then when you're ready, put in the word start, and then everybody will be allowed, you know, for however long we decide, <laughs> a minute or so, to put your number uh, in. So okay. We have uh, it. If it's if it's out of the country, we can still get you merch. We can't ship yeah, you. Yeah, I can send you, know, you a, can mug. Get a coffee mug or something like yeah. that. So. Right, right. Okay. So whenever okay. you're ready. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Did you put start in? Type start in. So I have to put start in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, just type start and everything from there. So start. Okay. One vote. We're, oh, fish and tactics. Hello. We'll right. take it all even before the start. We'll take them all. One guess. Yeah. There they go. They're moving right along. Look at this. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And it's one through 50, right? Well, it do doesn't matter. Some, okay. Some so we'll do one. Through, we'll do the one through 100. One, one guess. Through, one through without going if, over. No, they're all they're voting up to 100. So we're going to do 1 through 100. Tisha, what's the purpose of this? It's Father Fish's celebration. He just yesterday he reached 8,000 subscribers. So I'm just trying to share the love and sponsor a card for Father Fish with all of you for being in here and supporting him and being subscribers and hanging out. Love it. Chevy, you can vote. I don't know if you did or not. How are we doing? It's slowing down. We'll give them a couple more seconds, and then you'll put, get your get your word stop ready. <laughs> okay, so right. fish, and, fish and voted again. So I guess anything above the start we won't honor. So anybody that voted above the start, put a number in below it. We're only going to go from start to stop. Those are the numbers we're going to count. I think we're there. All right, press write the word and stop. That's T O P. Okay, this is okay. what's really what's interesting about this is that there is a winner right on the number, mm -hmm. uh, and the person who posted it put it in right at the beginning, was the third one in, and then posted the same number again way down uh and it was uh teresa lovelace the number 37. Okay. so teresa, teresa so, was picking up the vibe i guess so what we need to make sure there's not another 37 we don't have a tie right did you see one well there are two of them there but she posted both well, okay that, that's fine but i mean is there any anybody else that also put in that's another no, I don't see another. So, okay. So, it's Teresa. So, yes. All right. So, Teresa, what you do is um, email Father Fish. Chevy Fish, can you put in Father Fish's email or, or can you, Father Fish? So, email him with your information and, and um, you can look on Get Gills and, and, and call him, actually call him and see what he's got available for plants and things and you can choose you know, a coffee mug or some plants or whatever. Just get a hold of Father Fish and he will take care of it for you. You and bet. thank you, everyone, for playing. <laughs> Very, that was fun. Yeah, sorry, sorry, TJ. Yeah, we, we already did it. Sorry. And, and Frugal says, 37, am I too late? <laughs> you got it. You got it, Frugal. You got it. But you're sad when you're too late. Anyway, cool.
So yeah, just just get a hold of him either through email or, or call. The store number is still, you know, you can get him on the phone. So give him a call. See what you can see. What you've won. Oh, uh, Mary Ann. Mary what? Ann says they want to sponsor a gift card. Do you see that, Father Fish? I see that. Yeah. Fifty. Uh, what do you have in mind, Marianne? Tell you what, send me an email, uh, and I'll get back to you, and we'll work it out. We can do it uh, later on in the week, maybe. Another day? Okay. That would be cool. Yeah, do it another day. That would be fun if we and, do something And, like Father Fish, I think we need to talk about, um, you know, we put out a little while ago that, that you were going to rename the morning show. Oh, thank so you. My question to you is, you know, we, we need to not let that slide. People added names. Should we put it out for people to put in some more names? Um, because I think par part of what he was getting at is, um, you know, the name needs to be a little bit more uh, descriptive in the sense that, you know, Father Fish and Joey in the morning, we don't know what we're talking about. We could be talking about biscuits, you know. So <laughs> we, right. we need to get Get something that you know says a little bit more about what this stream is about. So that's what you were shooting for, and you had people um, send you some really good, you know, names. Um, and so we we want to finish up on that. I think we got busy and you know a lot of things going on, and we we kind of let it slide. But we got to get back to it and finish that up. So well, I, I really haven't let it slide so much as I haven't found something. That just really seems to click. Okay. Um, including things I've thought of myself. Yeah. I mean, I've, we've had about 20 or 25 suggestions, and they're all good, and I like them all. But but nobody's really been able to to say the words that have the magic. Okay. You know, that really so just say in two so or three words exactly who we are and exactly what we're doing. Yeah. And maybe that's an impossible task. And it might be. But you, let's try it again well, and see what people come up yeah. with. And then we'll just go yeah. from there. Hey, Amber's but, saying she would be willing to donate a better father fish and pay for shipping. Wow, Amber. Oh, and that's, oh, cool. that's, that's very that's sweet. A, we just opened the door here, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, you got, now I gotta figure out how to coordinate this, Joey. We'll let what? Joey coordinate it. She's good at this. Actually, we had to let Chevy coordinate it. Do all the coordinating, you mean? I mean, yeah. it's very, it's very, very generous of people, you know, to come. Exactly, in and, and I think it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Um. Yes, Brian. Yes. Oh. Can I use worm casting sir? Oh, for Grendel worms. That I yes. don't know. Yeah, but I think yes. so. I think okay. Yeah, yes. fine. Right. Yeah. Um good choice, actually. So yeah, actually, um well, I mean the big city bettas thing would be the same as this, you know, you would just do the giveaway and then they would email you with the information and then if, if Amber could email you, it could be done that way. Um through email, or or Amber can call you and, and figure out who won it and get their information. I mean, we're gonna know who won it. It'll be here, but you know, you can trade information that way, and it would be the same thing. Um, well, yeah, I need to figure out how to do this. <clears throat> um, what do you and, mean? And I think well. Is it gonna? Are they going to provide the gift themselves out of their cover? She just said Amber will ship one of the bettas. She's bred and pay for shipping. All we have to do is the giveaway, and then coordinate whoever won getting their information to Amber. So, I not mistaken, correct, Amber? That's what you said. You would you would provide a betta. And you would pay the shipping. Uh, okay, that's different. Yeah. That's different from the other offer. Yeah, that is different. Yes. 
Good morning, Kenny. Somebody wanted to to the do a, I, yeah, you can, All right, Amber says I'm correct. She will provide that and pay the shipping. All we have to do is run the giveaway, and then um, you, the people, will email you with their information, and then Amber can call you to get it. You 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 good with that? I well, I want to be able to do it. I just want to figure out what we're really what we're really getting into here. Uh, well, because there was somebody else that wanted to sponsor a gift. Right. Right. Amber's providing her own gift for I you. Understand. And then I understand. the other person I believe was wanting to sponsor. So in that case, if she wanted to get a hold of you, she could um, let you know maybe how much she wants to do, let's say on a gift card or something as a, as a gift card to your store. I'm assuming that would be, or somebody could say, I want you to give away a plant package or something, you know, as long as they pay all the costs, it could be a plant package. It could be a mug. Um, I guess get a hold of Father Fish and see what you're willing to do. That would be the way to go. Amber's is easy. Amber's is she's going to give away better. She's willing to pay the shipping. We do the contest and they get a hold of you to provide their shipping information and then and then Amber can Well, they would need to get a hold of Amber. Well, I don't want to give out Amber's information. So what I'm saying is they can email their name and address and everything to you that Amber can call you and get it. I don't want to give out Amber's information. But yours is already out there. Your email and phone are already out there. Oh, it's Mary Ann. We're not a sponsor or a gift card. Yeah. yeah. I'm certainly not opposed to doing it. I just, I, I'm hesitating because it's going to involve me being responsible for making it happen. So it's I, I there's some things I need to do, and I my it's it's the my doing part that's the sticking point for me <coughs> because it's easy for me. To okay, Greg says so she's already posted her email. Did she post it in here? This big city oh, bed is. Yeah. So if we want to run the contest right now, the, the winner will email Amber and she will provide the better. And now you're not you're not you're not the middleman anymore. She didn't mind putting her info out there. Okay, I think that's gonna be the better way to do it. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just I wasn't gonna say, you know, put anybody's yeah. information out without the permission, but she put it out. So yeah, okay. we can just run the contest. Yeah. And so, the the winner Winner will be in touch with Big City Bettas. Yep. Okay. So I'm hands off. I'm hands off on it. You're you're at it. All right. That's not yeah. because it's not, don't misunderstand here, please. It's not because I don't care. It's not because I don't like it. It's because if you're going to make me responsible for any aspect of it, it might fail because this isn't working all that well anymore, and I lose things. Uh, so you can't depend on me to, to be able to follow through all the time. I'm having trouble enough with orders through get um, okay. um So I am going to... So I'll get back to Mary Ann, though, and I okay. want to nail that one down as well. So Mary Ann, if you will send... Let's see, I'll tell you what. Send me a PayPal... For the amount of the gift card, fatherfish.net, like fatherfish at fatherfish.net on PayPal. Uh, and whenever you do that, uh, we will we will bring it up and we will do it as a, uh, a contest on the following day. Okay, that sounds fair. And so, it'll, be, it'll be in your name. Awesome. So why don't we do Amber's? I'm gonna just butt in and say, 
It's for the U.S. only because she cannot ship a beta outside of the United States. So okay. unfortunately, it is for you know um, people that live in the U.S. Um, but well, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll I'll bite the bullet on this one. If um, if the winner is outside the U.S., I will send them a mug. Okay. All right. That's fair. So then we'll have to do another contest if somebody wins the beta. But I. But that's fair. Yeah. Are you okay with all that? Remember, I just butted in on your business, but I'm thinking you know shipping out of the U.S. would be not what you signed on for. So let me just make sure she says yes on that before we start the contest. And we're celebrating Father Fish's 8,000 subscribers. That's what we're doing here today. Um, we've not been answering a lot of questions. We've just been listening to Father Fish's stories mostly, and it's been great. Um, so let's wait and see what Amber says. So Chevy has been in touch with Amber and... Okay. Oh, so did, did Amber did Amber leave? Well, whatever. I'm I'm just gonna say that that's what we're going to say because shipping out of the U.S. unless you are the patent, it's just not doable. So we're just gonna say that's not gonna happen. It's only for people in the U.S. that can win that. If, like you said, if, if you're outside, you'll send them a mug. So okay, that's fair. Kenny's there. Yeah, Kenny's been here. Hi, Kenny. Southern. Are you okay with that? Right. Hello, Andres. So what are we doing? Well, I think, I, I don't know. I, I saw Chevy make a comment to Amber. I don't know if Amber had to leave. She hasn't come back and said anything. But like I said, I'm just speaking for her saying she's only got to ship that better within the U.S. And But you've given an alternative if somebody wins and they're not from the US that you'll ship them the mug. So they'll win something regardless. Um, okay, so do we wanna do that? I would say so. Okay, do you wanna run it? Yeah, um, get, your, get your number, pick your number, write that down. One through a hundred. One through a hundred, do not vote yet wait till he types in the word start it's you know all the same rules you get you get one chance closest without going over if there's a tiebreaker we'll Fun. Figure, we'll figure it out um so when you're ready type in the word start and then everybody ready. this is this is for when you're from big city betters from amber this is for a better from Big City Betters. So I'm saying U.S. only. Don't do not start yet. Do not yeah, start yet. Ready, set, start. They're coming in. You guys are coming in. Start to slow down. But you got a minute, because obviously he stepped away. So you guys have got a minute to go. It's to win a beta from Big City Betas. But what he's put in there is if you are from outside the U.S. and you do play and you win, you'll get a coffee mug instead, because we can't ship live animals. And yes, one guess. One guess. 
All right. All right. I think we're ready to have you type in stop. Stop. We'll let we'll let David Piper in because it's not a winner, and check well. Okay. Well, they, they made it before uh, stop anyway on the official here, thing. Here's the number. Eight. So seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Okay. Sorry, Okay, let's go back to the beginning. 78. Yes, Red Eye Aquatics. All right, let's see if there are any others. Nope, I think it's just Red Eye Aquatics, right? Yeah, Ther so, look at Teresa. Teresa was within two. Yeah, but Red Eye hit it right on. So the right winner on. Yep. is Red Eye Aquatics. Good job. And so, and so right. Amber put her email. Is it still accessible? She put her email above, and that's who you need to email about winning the Father Fish contest that you were number. Yeah, Chevy can post her email again, please. Okay, perfect. So if Chevy can grab it and repost, um, that would be wonderful. And Father Fish, can we do one more giveaway? Because I think everybody was hoping you were going to give away a mug. So can we give away a mug? <laughs> and then we're going to be done with giveaways today. <laughs> All right, we'll give away a mug. All right, well, let's let's get this through. So Red Eye, are you keeping notes here? Red Eye Aquatics won that, number 78, correct? Am I keeping notes? Lord, no. Okay. okay yeah, uh, yeah, actually, I've got notes. Okay. I have Tariq for 37 and Red so, Eye for 78. All right, so keep those. All right. Thank you, Amber, Big City Buzz, for sponsoring that giveaway. That was very, very sweet of you. And I know Father Fish appreciates it. Even though yeah. he was, a, we were confused on the process. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> oh wow! My sister, my sister, just, Father Fish. My sister just texted me, and she's willing to do a giveaway to her store, her rock store, fifty dollars oh, wow. gift, um, and. And only U.S. only because shipping's heavy. Um, a fifty dollars gift card to her store. You're getting people wanting to sponsor you all over. Um, and uh, how do you feel about that? Well, we could do all that today, I guess. Or you know, I I kind of like to face them out, but. What the heck? We're just, hey, it's a big day, and we're having fun. We're on a so, roll. Yeah, exactly. Let's Why not? do Don, Don's giveaway, and that will be to a store called Tashita Heaven. And um, All right. So she'll, so she'll sponsor a $50 gift card to her store. It's a, it's a, um, she sells, you know, rocks and crystals and all those sorts of things at her store. Um, and I use many, many of those rocks in my fish tanks. That's where all my fancy rocks comes from, my sister's store. So, and it will be the same. It will be the same thing. Um, we'll throw in her. Um, her email. Don, you throw in your email. Her Don's here. She can throw in email. And and we're so now we're gonna do a fifty dollar gift card to to she to have it. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Crystals. <laughs> it's a fun day. All right, so. Pick and another Stephanie number. Is pay, Stephanie is paying for shipping. Oh, so <laughs> my other sister will cover the sh shipping, and, and Don, who owns the store, will give you the fifty dollars gift. Thank you, Stephanie. That's so sweet. Thank you. All right, Don's here. All right. So, uh, so fifty dollars uh, gift card to <laughs> Tashita Heaven. Can we can we post a picture of some of your product? Um. She, if you go to tashitahaven.com, I believe, Father Fish, you can pull it up on your computer and put it on your screen. Yep, let me do I that. Think. So, 
Well, it might be tissue. Tissue. it might be tissue to have it incorporated. It might be tissue to have it incorporated. Um, and you can pull up her site and give everybody an idea of what we're talking about. Okay, yes. Oh, it is TashidaHeaven.com. She just put it in there, TashidaHeaven.com. Did you find it? Right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All so sorts of things. Okay. That's Everything. Some, yeah, you got some fluorite there. And she's got those little fluorite starfish. It was all kinds of things. So it's a fifty dollar yeah. certificate. Is that right? Yeah, a grape agate. Okay. There's all sorts of things she's got right and there. You go to the yeah. website and select what you want. And yeah. if it is more than that, you just pay the difference. Right. Absolutely. And um, so, and then we'll do the same thing. You can uh, get a hold of her. Her what? Her phone number is right on her website or her email so you can say that you won the father fish giveaway um and that'll be awesome and thank you so much that's really sweet so yep so we'll do a 50 dollars gift card so you got your number picked out i do and it'll be one through 100 you guys know the shtick wait till he types in star one guess post it without going over all the things what a fun okay. day yeah. Let me know when you're prepared to start. Ready, set, go. <laughs> and yes, Ross, they could they could also go in on her live show and probably use the gift card as well. Absolutely. She does live shows on Facebook and, and sells on those shows. What are this we doing? <laughs> I like nice. it. <laughs> so great. <laughs> and then we'll do one more. It'll be the, the coffee mug. <laughs> and then we'll be done. Okay, I'm online. Okay, just come on in. Come on in. Okay. All right. <laughs> so what? give it another give it a few more seconds, Father Fish, and then you'll type in the word stop. We'll give it give it just a little bit more time. Okay. And then when you're ready. It's it's so it's it's slowing down. I think we're we're almost done here. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. What? Is everybody in? Oh, nobody, in. nobody has hit it, and nobody is even particularly close. Well, we're still gonna go with it. I mean, you know, whatever yeah, it doesn't matter. We've got a better idea. Let's let everybody vote again. Let's Why? Forget if we can. We'll do this until somebody hits the number. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's playing games. All right, everybody vote again. He's trying to get somebody to get it spot on. Right. Keep posting. Keep posting. You can post more than once. All right, so basically he's saying vote until somebody gets it, and the minute somebody gets it, we're done. Game right. <laughs> right. Just make up your own rules as you go along. We don't care. I don't care, actually. I don't care. But we just have to, when they hit it, it has, you have to be ready to hit stop because we're done. Somebody hits it spot on. Stop. Stop. Okay. Who got it? We got it. Who? We got it still rolling. Yeah, but stop because he's got a winner. Who is it? Wait a minute. I'm trying to get the word stop. Did I get stop? <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter because we decided it was stop when the when somebody got the number right on. So, so all right, it's done. All right. all right, what do you got? Who you got? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah. Ah. My old eyes are deceiving me. Let me go back and look now. Is this like Kino? <laughs> 
funny, isn't it? Right. They were gone by so fast. I thought I saw it and didn't. Are you oh, I got it. I got okay. it. Yeah. Who <laughs> put you in charge of the game? <laughs> I'm writing down. I'm writing down the name of the winner. Oh. And this oh. is for what? This is for uh, Tushita Heaven. The fifty dollars gift card to Tushita Heaven. And my sister staff is sponsoring the shipping, so they're both helping out today. Thank you both. All right. Let's make sure there's only one. Oh well, no, we no, we're only taking the first one that hit it. Well, I'm going. Because then we're going to do a, a mug giveaway. We're doing one more giveaway. Okay, we got it. You got You got to show us the name. Who's I'm the winner? Gonna, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna get down to the bottom here. Yeah, but we're not taking the second winner because it's one gift card for this game. So who got it first? Manny's hard to work with some days. It's only, I only found yeah, one. My hair. <laughs> who is it? Emily Stevens. Woo! All right, Emily. Congrats. Emily, number 92. Yep. The Tequila Heaven. So, uh, Emily, you need to be in touch with Tashita yeah. Heaven. And that's my your sister, Dawn. Well yep. done. Isn't well that done. fun? So, you can All go right. on the and get the telephone number or an email or whatever. You can, you can get a hold of her. Right. Cool. All right. So, we're going to do one more. It's going to be for a Father Fish mug. This one. We're gonna do the same rules. One guess, one, you know, closest without going over. And I, don't like, I kinda like the multiple posting thing. Well let's try the let's try it the original way and see oh, what we get. You can't just change the rules all the time. I mean you kinda can, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so you said. I need you to stick to a format. I can hear you over the head. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? We got to hey, pick well, a number. While we're at it, smash the like button, people. Um, yeah, you pick the number one through hundred. This is for a five fish coffee mug, which can be shipped anywhere. I'll pay the extra shipping if it's out of the U.S. Whatever we have to do, we're just we're playing games today, and whatever it takes. So. <laughs> All right, are we ready? All right. Oh, yeah. Mark. <laughs> Typing the word start. He's somewhat trained. We're getting there. He's trainable. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Fish is screaming fish. That's cute. Totally distracted. To shit. Yeah, that, that can't work. <laughs> I love this giveaway stuff. I really do. <laughs> How are we doing here? Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. And we're going to let it go, and you're going to type in the word stop, and we're going to play this game in the usual way. <laughs> or I'm not paying for the monk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Wait. Give them, they're still coming. Give them another. Give them a little bit. Don't jump the gun. <laughs> Got a hair trigger this morning. <laughs> uh, well, how about those fish questions? <laughs> really? You hardly answered any. Oh, well, I bet everybody's having fun with this stream. I know I am. I'm having a blast. <laughs> like Christmas. Uh... Getting down to it here. One guess, one guess, one guess on this one, Deshaun. One guess. I said we're playing right. this one the regular way. One million. <laughs> yeah, they're so close. One million. So close. Right. Oh, boy. All right. They're still guessing. Oh, JBV, you can't do that. One guess. So only the first guess counts. This was one was one guess. All right. 
Father Fish, I think you should get ready to press stop. He's gonna he's gonna press stop. So to stop. Everybody needs to have gotten it in. One count to like five, four, three, two, one. We have a stop. We have a stop. Yeah. All right, we have a winner. And, and the winner Forty-five. Marty. Is it, is it, Marty. 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 Right. So I believe you're out of the U.S., but awesome. So you'll have to get a hold of Father Fish through email and tell him you won the coffee mug on the giveaway. And is that the only 45? Was that the one? only one I saw? Okay, we're just double checking. You you know he's crazy. He already wrote your name on there before the thing ended. <laughs> well, it was early on. He got it pretty early on. He did. he did, yeah. Oh, wait yeah. a minute. R&B Animals Collectibles is 45 also. We'll give away a second mug. Email Father Fish, I'll buy another mug. I'm feeling okay. Kids. Where is that? We're, we're going to honor him both. He's actually above Marty. Oh. He's above him, 45. Really? R&B Animals and Collectibles. So oh, I see. If, yep, sure enough. Okay. Can you... Um, can you throw in Father Fish's email again and everybody email and get a hold of Father Fish? And um, and the other winner, the better, needs to email Amber and then email my sister Dawn or call her. Woo, what a day. Fun, fun, fun. All right, two mugs. All right, cool. Yep. And I ordered 20 mugs in. Just so it wouldn't run out for a while. Don, Don says, this is way more fun than Price and Rocks this morning. <laughs> I believe it. I think it's fun. I like it in this way. All right. So we got like a few minutes left on the show. So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> and let everybody hit the <laughs> like button, people. Make sure, make sure we've got all the likes today. Come on, Father Fish deserves it today. Uh, we're there, 79, yeah. 78 watching, 80, 80 thumbs up. Okay, with, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you we're so losing much. watchers as we, uh, as we speak. Went from 80 to 76 in a matter of seconds. <laughs> oh, Rosie says, show one of my Christmas ornaments. We can do... Um, this sometime. I don't, the only one I have on this is the one you did of my dogs. Should I show that? I mean, handy. Sh should I show the, get that wrong? Is that what you're thinking? Something like that? I'll wait till she answers me. I have some very, you know, my sister is very talented. Patient, I've been looking for you. I know. And he's here. Patient, you tried to come up yesterday, and the minute I clicked on you to bring you up, you disappeared. And then I couldn't get back to you. We are crestfallen for it. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. and me both. So we want to give you a chance to come back up and say hello and whatever it is you had in mind. I know you have gotten the box, so I, I'm guessing that's what it was about, but please, um, post, let me see, let me, the link should be at the top. I might be able to post it. Okay, so I, my sister, these she did for me of my dogs as an ornament, but she could do a fish one, and, and she'd be willing to do this on a giveaway. We'll do it another day. Um, but these are some of the things that she's painted. She did it on, I think, I don't know what kind of word. Well, oh, how cute. But oh, she nice. painted those like dogs. So she'd be willing to do uh, maybe a fish one or two, and we could give those away. Um, that would be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, um, yeah, okay, Roz. I'm going to try to come up tomorrow. That'll be oh, great. Right. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we'll do. I'll see what she can maybe paint for us, and we'll do one or two of these sometime. That would be awesome as well. And these are light, so not much for shipping. So that's cool. I keep, I actually keep these on my refrigerator year round. I don't just use them for Christmas. Are they magnets? No, they're a little, 
you know, hang me things, but oh, I just I have the magnet. Say. I have a magnet on the fridge that I can hang them on because I just want to enjoy them year round. I don't want to just see them, you know, right at Christmas. So, but she's she's really talented and paints all sorts of things. So that would be really fun. Thank you, Ross. She could also do a refrigerator magnet as well. Maybe she could do one of each. Maybe she could do an ornament and a magnet. So that would be awesome. Cool. So this has been a blast. I, I've, en I've enjoyed this. I hope you have Father Fish. <laughs> I just, I get, I get apprehensive about losing, losing track of things. Well, you know what? I can fix anything. <laughs> so no matter what's going on, I can, I can work it out and make it work and take care of it. It'll, we're going to be fine. Don't you worry. We're going to be fine. Are in being sent an email to me. So is it Kenny? Is it Kenny in the chat today, or is it Danny? Are they still here? Okay, R and B. I'll I will follow up on that. It was R and B and Marty. Yeah, yeah. My sister said she says to she she says we have your back, Father Fish. It's all good. That's right. It's, all good. <laughs> it's Kenny. So Kenny, can I say about? Tonight, I just want to make sure with you before I say anything. Or you can say it in the chat. I wanted to go back. Red Eye and Teresa, 78 and 37. What did the what did they win? Um, that was the original, the first see, two. That's why I was like, did you keep notes? I should have we can go back and figure it out. I didn't keep all the notes, I should have. I wrote down but who in the number, but not what. Which one? Well, we need to figure out which one was the gift card, which one was the the beta, you know, and then the coffee mug and uh, the Tashita gift card. So we just need it. We'll get it. We can go back through the chat and get it all straight. Oh, these yeah. were the beta and the. No, it was not the Tashita. It was the it was the gift card, and. We had a gift card giveaway, fifty dollars gift card. We had the Betta from Big City Betta from Amber. Right, we the big fifty dollars okay. gift card for Dawn's store, and then we did a coffee mug. So we did four giveaways. Okay, so the uh, okay, Teresa so I, the gift card. I just wanted to make sure that we were still on. So I am, I am going to be on the hot seat tonight on Rob ninety three with Rob and Kenny tonight at seven. <laughs> oh, okay. Put on the hot seat. <laughs> Oh, on the hot seat. Now oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, Don says two coffee mugs, Joe. Yes, you're right, Don. Yes, two two winners on the coffee mugs. Yeah. You are correct, Don. That's correct. Yeah. But we um, can always go back through the show and go back through the, the chat if we have to. The red eye it. was the better. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So, all right. What a show. <laughs> Goodness sakes. <laughs> I thought it was great. <laughs> we got some stories. We got some giveaways. I think you answered a couple questions, but it doesn't matter. It was fun. And like I said, it was really just to celebrate anyway. So this is a cool way to celebrate. You yeah. Can I catch Brian Shrimp in a mug? If you're fast. <laughs> You betcha. You can catch shrimp in a mug. <laughs> yes, yes, CJ. Dawn's paying attention. Yeah. And then, like I said, and my sister Steph is also helping out with the shipping. So we've got a lot of generous people today. And it's to celebrate for you, Father Fish, for your 8,000. And it's awesome. Great it's fun. fun. Fun to be. So. And again, I want to thank Naresh for the the new splash. Yeah, they put that, yep, advertise the really, show. really nice. And thank everyone for being here and supporting Father Fish because that's the only reason he made it to eight thousand subscribers is because of all of you and the people that are here in the show every day and you know hanging out and asking questions. And, and Chevy Fish, thank you so much. And Lori, and everyone that donated, 
Thank you. And y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> All right. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not because the trees bring back oh, Lord. everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Thank you all. We lost on the way because it is glory. And you are the glory. Back memories bring back your. There's a time they don't remember. And I did not know no pain. When I believed in forever. Everything will stay the same. Now my heart feels like December. When somebody say your name. Because I can't reach out to call you. I know I will one day, day. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. Everything will be alright Don't raise a glass and say hey. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here But you're not cause the dreams bring back the memory Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back your